Hi everyone, I'm Audrey. And I'm Anthony. Together we are Rianne. Audrey, how are you doing tonight? I'm fine. <laughs> you may <laughs> notice that Audrey is not feeling great, and that's because we just had Rianne Rumble round four. And as you can see, we, we still have the golden chocobo on my we. microphone. Okay. Yes. We, as in the audience and me. Okay, great. I'm just but that's not the focus here. of this stream. No. Today we are continuing Metal Gear Solid. Yes. And the, the game is right there in, in the frame, too. Perfect spot. There it is. Maybe there we'll have is. to look at the back of the box Amiibo. again. How, what did you think of that last stream? It was fun. Yeah. Chat was trying their best to, you know, not give it away since this is Audrey's very first time yeah. with the original Metal Gear Solid. I, I know that it gets kind of like fourth wall breaky like that. Certainly. So I, I, I have one in my head that will be later, I think. I don't know if it's... The, I'm pretty sure it's this game. Yeah. It is Audrey's first playthrough, but she has some out-of-context things in her mind. I don't some really imagery. know. Yeah, I don't really know anything about the story, like or at all, pretty much. Like as we're as we're playing this, I'm like, okay, that's interesting. I mean, I have an, a very very vague mm -hmm. idea, um, but as we're going moving along, like I'm not really sure where it's taking us right now. Mm -hmm. um, there's definitely some things that are not adding up. People are dying. Certainly. I don't know if there's... I'm, I'm loving your predictions, as always. Yeah, I don't know if there's a death note in this game, but I think two people have died of heart attacks very suddenly. Mm -hmm. So, um, something's going on. I'm pretty sure probably some, some sort of agenda with the government, of course. Um, the government that we work for. Yep, yep. And then there's also... Um, there's also Foxhound. Um... Which is our former unit, our former formerly unit. headed by Roy Campbell. Yeah. Um, Have a good night, Lou. Lou, See you next time. thanks for hanging out, Lou. Um, yeah, form head formerly headed by Roy Campbell. So now there's a sect of Foxhound that's um, trying to uh, steal Big Boss's body. Uh, they're making demands. Oh. They've they've taken over Shadow Moses Island, which was supposed to be. A nuclear waste disposal facility. However, it's de it, we've de we've discovered that they've been doing testing of what? Testing of uh, CRISPR gene therapy. No, they've been using that, but the specifically, gene what have they been gene. developing here? Oh, Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Metal Gear. Do you, do you recall the name they gave this model, this prototype? Metal Gear Rex. Rex. Yes. And Snake is like, I'm familiar with Metal Gear. Yeah. So they've been testing it out. They wanted raw data mm -hmm. from this prototype test mm -hmm. to take into production, manufacturing of more units. However, the unit that they brought in, the Special Forces Foxhound unit to oversee this test, took over. Mm -hmm. They are now terrorists making demands saying, hey, we got the nukes. We got a walking battle tank nuke machine that can target anywhere on the Earth. The whole Earth. Please make reach our demands, and they want, like you said, the remains of Big Boss, this mm -hmm. legendary soldier. Do you recall why they want the remains of Big Boss? They didn't say. They kind of said. What? It was related to what you said because they they have an army of genome soldiers. Oh right. Oh oh right. Well they they are doing. Okay, so the reason that they're holding on to Big Boss's body in the first place is because Big Boss is this legendary soldier, uh -huh. and they think there's a soldier gene involved Certain traits, so they yeah, want yeah. to like uh i don't know just uh integrate this gene into soldiers so that they become the soldiers, they, soldiers they already have well. the genome soldiers yeah with using gene therapy right but we don't know why they want it they want the body do they want the body to create more so super soldiers do they want the the body to stop the creation of of um super soldiers like maybe they're good question, good maybe question. they're um they're I think you're right to be skeptical, yeah. but but our, our our side of it is assuming that they just want to create more super soldiers, more soldiers, and enhance the soldiers they have. That's mm -hmm. kind of what our crew's okay. inferring. I kind of I when I was I stepped away thinking maybe we got it wrong. Maybe maybe this Foxhound group is actually trying to because they they are advanced and they maybe they don't want others to Ooh. like experience what they experience. And so they're like, we need to stop this maybe. Audrey has a healthy dose of skepticism against, levied against all sides of this conflict right now, huh? Yeah. 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 I so, think that's, that's good in a Metal Gear game. It's fun. Right. So, I mean, that's, 
well now i'm feeling like that was probably wrong <laughs> but, that's, but that's but I'm that's but that's i mean I, I just wanted to play devil's advocate because i don't feel like certainly. anyone anyone um knows anyone's true motive at this point certainly and especially the fact that while snake is on this sneaking mission on his own he has support via codec to a couple of people including his former um commander roy campbell mm. but roy campbell has no actual authority here he was mm. brought in because um, the United States government knew that us, Solid Snake, would only listen to Roy Campbell. That's the right. actual commander of this operation is the Secretary of Defense. Mm. Jim something? I don't remember. And we don't have direct contact with him. Nope. So, so we keep questioning Campbell. What is up with these dudes dying? Yep. And he's like, I don't know. I don't have access to all the files. And mm. Snake's like, Campbell, yep. don't lie to me. Yeah. So a lot of mistrust everywhere, skepticism. Yes. Yep. And there's cool also stuff. Dr. Someone. Naomi Campbell. Naomi Campbell. Uh-huh. Wait, Campbell? No, sorry. Naomi Hunter. Oh, Naomi Hunter. Yeah. And then there's also the uh, save. Mei Ling. Mei, Mei Ling. Yep. And there's also. Who, who invented our, um, I think she invented the codec and she invented the Soliton radar system that we use. Yeah, and she's really great. Um, and then there's also the sunglasses guy that we call Master. Master Miller. Master Miller. Yeah, or, or formerly trained us mm. in survival tactics and whatever. So we have all these people that we can call to just ask their professional expert opinion on right. things. And then um, we just got Meryl's frequency. Yep, on the back of the box. On the back awesome. of the box, yeah. yeah and what, what do we know about Meryl? She was a rookie soldier brought in, mm. but then when the uprising happened, she decided not to go along with it and they put her in a cell yeah and she is uh roy campbell's niece yep so so he said like as a personal favor please also save her yeah 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 i think that's we that about sums it up we yeah. had an encounter with revolver ocelot that awesome was, uh, he lost his hand to some crazy robot yeah cybernetic nin ninja yep um who i ha have a feeling i knew who that is mm -hmm. no spoilers y'all um and yeah, that's kind of where we stand, I think. Yeah, so our current mission now is the arms tech president, something Baker, said right. that if you need to disable metal... Oh, I, I spoke and I gave them my code. Now they have both of the codes. However, the failsafe system, the PAL mm -hmm. card system, um, still exists. Ma did he say Meryl has the card? That's why we spoke to Meryl, right? Meryl is going to help us get into another part of the facility, but we're also looking for who? The engineer. The engineer who helped develop Metal Gear, who might be able to help us destroy it. Right. Do you remember the name? Hal Emmerich. 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 Hal Emmerich. Right. Yeah. So uh, that's our mission right now. Yeah. Uh, hey, Just TV. Uh, first time, huh? How far are you? We are right there. We're I think right we're there. still looking for Emmerich. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're getting help from... Um, from Meryl to yeah. get out of this facility to head over and find Hal Emmerich. Mm. There it is. Um, yeah, light somewhere writing names. Kessler, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> people are suddenly dying from heart attack. What's going yeah. on? Uh, Crudy legendary womanizer. Uh, yeah. So far, it's like it's like a back and forth. So it's like the it's woman, the women are hitting on Snake. Snake is also hitting on the woman. It's all consensual uh, flirting and yeah, uh, very flirty. Yeah, very very sexually charged. This keeping game. everyone um, warm in these sub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keeping everyone spicy. Love Thank that. you, Crudy. Yeah, we need the recap. We're doing it for you guys and, uh, and for us. Oh yeah. Uh, may I mention a, a non-story Easter egg? Is, yeah, is sure. it something that's... If you're confident it's not about the story, Sailor Jimmy, then yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and not, not spoilery. Lo would love to hear it. Great point, Jess. Thank you. Feel, f feel free. Oh, you're oh, you're oh, new oh, here, oh. Jess, but totally fine. We're only playing this once a week. If you need to bring up anything to just casually remind us of things that... It's so easy to forget between weeks. Yes. Um, Baker said he resisted yes. the Mantis's brain reading because he had implants. However, he wasn't trained to resist the physical torture. Right. That's how he spoke. And then, um, but in the case with Donald, the first person oh, who he's- the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson. Is that his name? I just remember Donald. Um, but he said that he cracked and he, he gave them the codes. Yeah. Because, because of um, Mantis, uh, Mantis read his mind. Yeah. And then we set that to Baker. Mm -hmm. And then 
uh, Baker was like, oh, what? He shouldn't he have the implants too or something like that? Yeah. And yeah. so that was like. So this mm -hmm. is where this is like one of many sources of your suspicion. Yeah. Way, yeah. So I don't know what to believe. I'm like a little bit scared. Maybe Donald. It, I don't know. Something's going on with Donald still. I don't sure, know. Sure. Maybe maybe that was. Um, I'm just going to say it. Maybe he didn't actually die. Maybe that was to his kind of are good. throw him off good. The, uh, his trail. Yep. Um, because that's that's the one major thing right now. Because I, I, for some reason, I don't think that um, Baker was... Well, Baker definitely has some uh, some sketchiness going on. But I felt Certainly. like every I could believe at least because he was kind of he seemed kind of like oh he, he didn't have the yeah his su surprise was surprising yeah yeah his surprise was surprising yeah, so certainly. appreciate that Jess but please just be careful about if you're trying to remind us of stuff or ask us questions be careful not to be too leading oh right 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 because sometimes simply asking us a question at the right time <laughs> could inadvertently lead yeah. us we'll just have to see Jess says to yeah, yeah, yeah. the we'll correct conclusion so be careful this is absolutely Audrey's first playthrough Ah, uh, we want to preserve. No, no, no. But that was fine. That, so we were calibrating here, Jess. That was perfect. That was perfect. We are currently perfect, trying perfect, to recap. Perfect. So thank you. Yeah, Jimmy says. But I'm sure you understand what I mean, right? If, mm. you, if you ask the right question at the right time, sometimes I can give something away. Uh, but, Kojima yeah. is a huge movie fan. The name mm. Hal Emmerich is based on Hal from two, uh, 2001: Space Odyssey and Roland Emmerich, a film director best oh. known for Independence Day. Love it. I do. I love those kind. That kind of trivia. Yeah, there's, really love it. Full of that. Mm. Um. Thank you so much, Cyrus. Hope you have a great lunch and we will have fun with Later, Metal Gear Solid 1 for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, I knew you would understand, Jess. All right, yes. let's load the game. Okay. Let's in the memory card screen. Boop. We, we were are. alternating two save files. Oops. And again, we are no judgment about how anyone chooses to play games. For our duo streams, we are playing on the easy difficulty. Yep. Because we are here to enjoy the story, not face the most challenging uh, gameplay. So here it is. Sounds like a plan. Should be this one, right? Here we go. Read mission log. Okay. Oh. I didn't know this game had this. Whoa. Oh, it's only two pages. I'll read it. Cool. Wait, this is perfect. Yeah. Go ahead. Snake saves President Baker from Foxhound member Revolver Ocelot. However, he has already given away the detonation code. The only thing that can stop the launch of the nuclear warhead is the detonation code emergency override key held by Merrill or Metal Gear Chief Engineer Dr. Hal Emmerich. After talking to Snake, Baker also dies from a heart attack. Snake refers to the codec frequency on the back of the CD case <laughs> and tries contacting Merrill. Yep. That was so cute. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I can't. I can't imagine anyone trying something like that today. Check the yeah. check the back of the check the back of the case. Okay, so Audrey does have a walkthrough up. I do now. So I think I know where I'm going. I'm just going to the elevator, going back up to the main floor. Okay. But um, you are free, Audrey, to um, just keep that up. Okay. Did we in the last stream just look through all of these rooms already? I'm pretty sure we did. There was that um, that laser and you used the cigarette to right. um, sh show the laser or something like that. Oh, crap. I'm trying to remember the place. Yeah, Raptor did easy the first time too. Gotcha. Oh, Jess is used to people ignoring the story. That's what's yeah. keeping me invested. The story is... The story, yeah. We're here for the story. Yeah. Yeah, Light got another one, Kessler. That, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We got to make sure our name doesn't get exposed. So I'm pretty sure this is where we go in this door, but maybe not. Yeah, advanced uh, DRM. Right, right, right. Uh, you don't need to walk through. You guys got us. True, Crudy. Yeah, chat usually... There's a delay, though. Yeah, there is somewhat of a delay. Also, I have a pretty good, like, very to-the-point, non-spoilery uh, walkthrough here, so... If I just need to read like one line, like go to the go to the top left corner or something like that. I just killed him. Uh. How do I play? <laughs> That's the problem here. Uh oh. Uh oh. This song is so good. Dude. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. We're warming up. It's been yeah, a week. It's fine. Warm up. Dude, 
Okay. Okay, right, let's just die. Oh no! How do I reload? Yeah, we'll just die. Okay, I think we need to go in that room. All right. First game over. Yeah, I'm surprised too, Jess. I think it's because I was spamming the button. Maybe I should have reviewed the controls before. All good. This is the warm up. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can tap the gun on and off for a fast reload. That's what I was Guess trying to do. Rises. Like that? Okay. R1. Nikos Key. Oh, Nikos Thank Key. You for the follow. Thank you so much for the follow, Nikos. Thank you very much. Um, okay. And equip. Um, if you like Let's this game, around. you'd love Siphon Filter. Filter? You're familiar. I've never played them. Oh. Is it a, a tactical espionage action? Certainly it is. Nice. Um, I want to get in that room because because of the item I saw. Yeah, I forget how to play games with one week, Kessler. Same. Same, same, same. The game auto-reloads when re-equipping. Interesting. Yeah, Anthony is uh, playing this game for us. I'm just kind of here enjoying the story. Why did it alert? Uh-oh. What? Why did it alert? I'm tripping. I'm confused about that. We're okay. Oh, he just got knocked out? Oh, are they just gonna keep coming? Yes. Dude. Okay. So we don't, we don't get the radar. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, remember the full game name. Tactical? Check. Espionage? Check. Okay, Action. so we have the suppressor now, actually. Check. Probably a bug, but it works. Yeah, that's a weird camera, maybe, just to say? I'm just killing everybody. There's a camera right here, too, right? Oh! And a guy <laughs> right there. Cardboard box, chaff grenade. Oh, cardboard box? Yeah. Is that our first cardboard box? Yeah. Yes! How fun! What's that? Oh, oh no! He's suspicious. Oh, uh, is it because we, we were in I was like alert? right here. Oh, oh, okay. Dude, I'm just killing everyone. That's okay, right? Oh, the doors are like locked too. Okay. I have an idea about how to get to the next area. Okay. Was this door busted? Oh no, I'm not wearing the key card. Okay. Um, Siphon Filter came out around the same time as Metal Gear Solid, but it was dismissed as a copycat despite it being more I like Splinter that. Cell. Oh, the timing. That's, a, that's um, yeah, unfortunate a bit. Uh, Nico's key. Basically, if you touch the guards before choking them, they'll make an alert. Oh. Uh. Okay, thank you for that tip. So, what is that? So you D I need got too to close. Go straight into the the grab. Yeah. Another ration. Oh, I Mine thought someone detector. was in here. Is someone not in here? I think it's below. Oh, okay. 200 IQ soldier cootie. <laughs> Trying to remember. Oh, I mean, Audrey, please feel free to fill me in on what to okay, do next um, in the, using the walkthrough. I need to remember where we are exactly. We're on the first level. We were previously basement two. Basement one. Is there something there for us now? Now that we have this key card. Oh, 
are you trying to f determine where we are? Like yeah, I'm, I'm not sure where we are. Not there. Soldier's no longer here. Is this game pretty short? It's not a super long game. Hmm. Traveling around in this game is the one thing I never remember anything about. Yeah. It's been a little while since I last played. Which key cards do we have up to? Just one and two. Oh, okay. Uh, are we in the Thank you, Nikos. canyon? No, we are not in the canyon. Are we trying that to head? Your head. Oh. We're trying to head to the canyon. Are we in the armory? We were in the armory. That's the basement level two, I think. Oh. It says exit through the large exit to the right of the elevator. In the first level. Um, but it's not, the door's not opening. Do we have the level two key card? We do have the level. Is it a level two door? I thought I tried. I thought I said level five on the door. Okay, we'll tr we'll try again then. Um. Yeah, Nikos key hyped for the next uh. Koji it's this one. It's this big door right here. Kojima project. It says level five on it. Oh. Oh, we're supposed to call Meryl, huh? Oh, maybe. We're supposed to call Meryl to open it. Oh, that's right. Dang it. Uh, do I need to look on the back of the box? Yeah, tell me the code again, please. Oops. Oops. One four zero point one five. Oh, we haven't even called her yet oh. because of the save file. Okay. The one from the prison? Okay. You're the colonel's niece. That's why. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. We already heard this conversation last exactly stream, right? Exactly. Who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone. Oh, the yeah, because she keeps thinking mess. that we're liquid you snake. By yourself? You think but we did kind of see this army? last stream. I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? Because we How did call her. My uncle. We go way back. Right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. My oh yeah, she reveals her important. mask. She's like, oh, "You're the legendary." Uh -huh. Yeah. Could you be? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you solid Shall we snake? skip it then? That's sure. What some people call me. Because I think last stream she said, she said, "Um, give me a call again when we get to the door." Gotcha. That's why I didn't open. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. So even though we saved, it saved at like a checkpoint that was before, or maybe I didn't save. Hmm. I thought we did. FaceTime me at Kessler. <laughs> They're not actually seeing each other's faces, though. Yep, yeah, yep, 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 but she yep, still yep. took off her mask. All right, we're telling her <laughs> that Baker died. Hal Emmerich. He's working on it. They're forcing. They're forcing Hal Emmerich to work on it. Right. That's important. Security five, right? But it's okay. I got a level five key card. Well, she wants to go with us. We're calling her Green. She's a noob. Uh huh. That's right. That's right. We saw this last stream. You laugh together, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Charming. Now, I think she said, "Call me when you get to the door." Right. Snake, don't be so impatient. Settle oh. down. Oh. I need a little more time to get the cargo door open. Okay. I'll call you when I get the door open. Just wait a little, okay? Okay, so we probably triggered it by being here now. Okay. So. Yeah, we got this dude respawned again. Okay. Oh, maybe be careful just to grab, not touch. Uh-oh. Oh, there's ammo now. Should I even try it? Nice. Yeah. Got him. Is this a first Metal Gear Solid playthrough? Um, it's first for Audrey. Yeah. So, um, Anthony has played this before, it's been a but long time. I've never experienced any of the Metal Gear Solid games except for Metal Gear Solid 4, which I watched my brother play a little bit of it. So I have an idea of what's going on. I mean, out of context, that game makes is, makes zero sense. Uh, so I, I read some things about this game a long time ago, but I never experienced it directly. Um, and I'm finding that context is everything. So I'm I'm understanding 
I'm understanding things about the game and learning things about the game I never knew. Oh, it's time. I think it's time. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. Oh! What does that mean? Uh, Wait, is that a reference <laughs> to the... <laughs> the cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Wow. <laughs> Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Oh my gosh. Thanks for the reminder, Jess. See, yeah. Oh yeah. Now at this point, I'm not. I'm not trying to read anything about this game anymore. For sure. Trying to go in with um, as little knowledge as possible. All right. Well, check in with everyone. This is a good time to check in everyone with everyone, and then also save. Sounds good. Meryl contacted you, didn't she? Go through the cargo door in the north part of the hangar. Head for the Warhead Storage Building. People's reaction speed is slowest around 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and so is their judgment. If you're feeling drowsy, you should get some sleep. Is that... Oh. Is he talking to us? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> or is he talking to Snake? What is it, Snake? The sub from Nicotine. <gasps> Thank you so much. Nicotine! Thank you. Thank yeah, you so glad to have you here. Sub. Mini dance yes. party. That's how we celebrate that here. How are you doing, Nicotine? How are you doing? We're doing great. Continuing our Audrey's first playthrough of Metal Gear Solid. Yep. And I'm also still working on um, Ocarina of Time mm -hmm. still. And Anthony has been working on Radiant Historia. Snake in China, they say, you must cross the river before you tell the crocodile he has bad breath. You know what that means? <laughs> It means that the wise man avoids danger first. Use your brain to avoid traps and stay away from the enemy. I wonder if that's real, or, or if these are real sayings that may. Probably. Because I like them a bit. Oh, here we go. Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared <gasps> sensors. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them, and the doors will seal off, and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow, you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. Okay, Is do you it? remember how we dealt with that previously? Yeah, in the last we frame? used uh, our cigarettes. And you can see the, the red on the wall. Uh, oh, gotcha. Where the beams are coming from. Um, love the dance party, Nicotine. Yeah, they're fun. Um, how's Metal Gear going? It's going well. We're um, this is only our second stream, and oh, oh, it's there's a lot of uh, tactical espionage fun action going on. We're uh, there's this mechanic where we can use cigarette smoke see the lasers. to see lasers. <laughs> It's so cool. It's pretty <laughs> Isn't cool. It? it is fun. Did it. So this side of the door is only uh, level two. Ah. So we got the card key for it. Did it. Cool. Nicely done. Thank you. So now are we in the canyon? I think so. Snake, Ooh. be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? <laughs> Never mind about that. Dude. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh! There's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. Aw. Love it. What? Deep Throat? Yeah, the code name for the informant uh, from the Watergate scandal, with President Nixon. Yes. Oh! oh! Did they just say be careful? Yes. Because there's mines everywhere? Good thing I have a mine detector. You have a, we have a mine detector? I picked it up on one of the rooms. Oh, sweet. There it is. Yeah, that's how you use cigarettes, kids. 
So check it out. I think this is a mechanic. Yep. If you crawl over the mines, you pick them up. Ah. Then they're in our inventory. Yeah. Deep Throat is a viewer. Deep Throat is a fan. <laughs> Deep Throat, what, Kessler? Yeah, I am. Um, Can I crawl safely within their field of view? I don't know. Claymores? Let's find out. Can Snake crawl? Can Metroid crawl? Okay, yeah. I thought that was the case. Was that a ration over here? Uh, Nicotine has only played Metal Gear Solid 5. I need to play the original one. Well, I've never played 5. <laughs> yeah, th oh, that's the exact opposite of Anthony. Anthony yeah. has played all of them except the, um, I guess, the non-canon side games mm -hmm. at this point. The PSP ones? Yeah, except for 5. So, yeah. This is the first, um, or this is not the first. There's Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2. And then after, after that, it goes into Metal Gear Solid 1. Metal Gear Solid 2, That's right. Solid oh, oh. 3, Solid 4, Solid 5. So we didn't play Metal Gear 1 and 2. A tank. We just decided to jump straight into Solid. Yeah, but this, this game gave us a nice recap of those games. It did. This is Raven's territory. Oh, is this the, one of the... Foxhound? don't belong in Alaska. I will not let you pass. Dude, this guy's shirtless in Alaska. Shit, hardcore. Wait, this, this must be one of the Foxhound people. Yeah. But what was it like? Something raven. See if you remember all the names. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I know. I don't remember. I mean, I might tell us right I now. I only remember. Um, there it is. Oh, Vulcan. You crawl on the ground like the snake you are. Come, let's fight. Okay, I vaguely remember this fight. Oh, okay. Um, you forgot about Metal Gear Acid. Sailor Jimmy's Metal Gear Acid is the only Metal Gear game I've played, actually. It was a card game. Oh, that is canon? I thought I thought it I thought it was not canon anymore. Oh, uh, what did you just do? I threw a chaff grenade, which messes with like radio or communication stuff. Oh. Five is so good. I really want to play Snake Eater. I heard it's great, Nicotine. I hear the same, so I'm curious about... I'm, I am curious about Snake Eater. Of course, I know the song. It's just over us. Uh, if you get the HD collection, you can play Metal Gear 1 and 2. Do we have the HD collection? We got everything. We do. We do have the HD collection, so we could play Metal Gear 1 and 2. Um, we decided to just read a, a recap before jumping into this. Okay, Ooh. I died. I didn't have my rations out. My bad. All right, I'm trying to remember. I, I have an idea about how to do this fight. Is there like? I'll let you know when I need help. I'm is there like remember. a gimmick? Yeah. So shaft grenades force I think the dude to come out oh, of the tank. Oh, and then you. And get then it. I, I think you just throw a grenade at him. Oh. But I was also remembering you can disable the tracks, the treads, by putting the claymores on the ground. Ah. So let me see how much I remember. Snake Eater is uh, Nico's favorite. Nice. It is a beautiful game. Can't wait to get there eventually. Be careful. The music at High Grudy. Yeah, the music in this is fantastic. Oops. It is anxiety inducing sometimes. But it gets you it gets you hyped, for sure. Okay, you can skip the cutscenes. Oh. Okay, there's a chaff grenade. Wait, do I not? Oh, I have to get the claim wars again. I messed up. I don't think I need them, but let's see. I'm prepared to die again. Sorry, I'll periodically have to go first person, Andre. Oh, good. You gonna try uh, chucking a pineapple? Yep. That's I'm I'm learning all sorts of lingo playing this yep, game. Yep, they went in. Went, oh, it. it goes into the tank. How fun is that? Yeah. Yes. See how you like this. Oh. Oh wait, where did Raven go? Was I he don't not? Know. Was he not in there? Nice. Okay, okay. Expertly done. Oh, 
Thank you. Hey, Solid Snake. Thanks for <laughs> thanks hey. for tuning in. How are the you? Man himself. Speaking of Solid Snake. Yeah, thank you for tuning in. Here we have Solid Snake. ID? Well, boss, I hope you are happy. Oh! He got the car. <gasps> he wanted us. Him a little longer. Oh! That's Liquid Snake. Not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. In battle, he is as if possessed by a demon. The Must respect. Like you, I would expect no less. See? I told you so. But I will kill him. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand as oh. well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of General the Ivan? people, Su means... I think he's talking about Ocelot. It is known as he thinks that snake took the hand? Well, snake yeah. Is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again. In battle. Same prediction as always. Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Whoa. Awesome. Okay. We're actually going to go back into that because there was like items to get. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Boss white increased max HP. Oh, sweet. And we uh -huh. hold an additional ration. Right, Solid Snake uh, just got your booster shot three hours ago. Congrats. Nice. Hope, uh, hope, hope you're you feel well. Yeah, not feeling any um, terrible side effects, but of course they should go away in time. Shirtless in Alaska, and you know how <laughs> you know how this guy rolls. Yeah, yeah. that's hardcore. pretty hardcore. Some grenades. Those are useful. Vulcan Raven is such a badass name. It is. I like. Um, I don't remember all of the. Foxhound names, and you don't need to remind me, but you the do ones not want a reminder. Okay, I do not, you know, but I just the ones that I do remember, like Revolver Ocelot and um, Psycho Mantis, mm -hmm. and now uh, Vulcan Raven. Pretty sweet, yeah. It's like it's super, anime, it yeah. like stuck in my head so much that I like started asking Anthony, I was like, hey, what, what would yeah, my right. Foxhound um, like name be? So it's like there's a there's a animal and then some sort of adjective or something yeah. right everyone tell us yours what is yeah, your what foxhound are, code name what is your code name <laughs> what what was some that i that we said um sleepy sloth or something like that i don't remember angry panda angry panda yeah. <laughs> i forgot what other ones there we got some items your kojima name generator ooh oh yes I miss Kojima exists, huh? doing the Metal Gear series. Solid Snake yeah. says, "Yeah, um, yeah. I wonder what uh, what else Kojima project, uh, Productions has in store for the future." I mean, they're working on something. They must be working on something since yeah. uh, Death Stranding, right? Yep. So, okay, we have a level three key card now. We're we're approaching what the nucle the waste storage facility or okay. something like that. Um, I heard that Kojima wants to make movies too. I, I that, totally yeah. believe it. Yeah, he's a huge movie buff. And King Baboon is here. Hello, King Baboon. How are you hey, doing today? Hey, what's up, King Baboon? And uh, Sailor Jimmy says Polygon made a video on the Kojima name uh, generator, and they'll post a video on the Discord. Oh. Sweet, Sailor thank Jimmy. You. Thank you. We'll definitely watch it later. Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. Okay. I've already programmed the nano machine so that he won't be able to. Whoa, this is dude. Yeah, the nano machines. That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here. It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is one four one. Nastasha. They mentioned her in the briefing. All of the mm. warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious okay. problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. 
If you use it once, will it just like... Do you want to try? No. Okay. Let's check in with everyone, including I don't... Nastasha. King okay. Boom Boom, yeah. This is uh, the PS1 version of Metal Gear Solid 1, and we're playing it on an original PlayStation 1. Yeah. Bazooka Panda, Nico says. Ooh, that's pretty that's sweet. That's pretty good. Oh, that's such a fun name. Bazooka Panda. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rescue Dr. Emmerich, the metal gear I feel so uncomfortable with these nano machines. Yeah. She just straight up said, Oh, don't worry about him setting off a weapon. I, I made it so you can't use the weapon, right? That's what she said. People who have been through war and survived develop a kind of sixth sense to warn them of danger. Trust your instinct. Oh, he said this one before. As a gamer. <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, what did he say was Nastasha's oh, frequency? Can someone remind us of Nastasha's frequency? Maybe I can. Dr. Emmerich should be in the laboratory area in the second floor basement. Second floor basement. Heavy arms fire in that area is strictly prohibited. An explosion could cause nuclear material to leak from one or more of the warheads. And that would be a very serious problem. Please be careful. Okay, Raptor, we'll try it looks that. Like they're Thank you, Raptor. Gas masks. That's because they're not supposed to use heavy arms. Uh, you mean they use chemical weapons instead? Whoa. That's intense. Yeah, do you want to try? I mean, I feel like the cure... Yeah, I'm just... Because they said not to do it, it makes me want to do it immediately. Exactly. Oh, Solid Snake. Um. Okay, thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> Solid Snake says, oh my god, you have a PS1? I had one for five minutes when I was a kid before my dad took it back because he thought the games were too violent. Not only can I read the topography, but I can monitor the movement of the bad guys, too. Pretty convenient, huh? It also makes it easy for us to see everything that you're doing. You're watching everything? Of course. If you were my boyfriend, you'd never be able to cheat on me. Being monitored 24 hours a day, that'd be like hell. Don't think of it like that. At least you'd never get lost. I can't believe they're all so, like, happy-go-lucky about it. Yeah, yeah. It's so, it's kind oh, of yeah, bizarre, yeah. and I feel so uncomfortable, but it's like, okay, yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, I, I remember when I was a kid, there was a game that we had... Um, Musashi, Brave mm -hmm. Fencer Musashi, and the first line of the game, Musashi says, shoot, the word shoot, and I thought that was a curse word, mm -hmm. so every time I, like, started the game, I would always, like, <laughs> like, so your try to get past the yeah. dialogue because I didn't want my parents to hear because I was like, oh my god, they're gonna think <laughs> I'm playing some, like, bad game or something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is Nastasha's code. Thank you guys okay. for checking on that for us. Mm. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the colonel mentioned? That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the nuclear emergency search team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about lady. launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. Dude, cool. Nastasha. Um, let's just do another call with her real quick. Okay, sure. That was like the introduction. Snake, that is a nuclear warhead storage area. Are all these filled with nuclear warheads? Yes, but their detonation mechanisms have been removed. So I don't have to worry about this island turning into a pile of smoking rubble. No, but if the casing is damaged, they may be leaking nuclear materials. Please, make sure you do not use your gun around there. Okay, noted. Very good, a lot of emphasis on that. Yeah. Um, we got a guy coming <laughs> right here. Yeah, Jimmy, referencing We got uh, a guy Mischief coming Makers. right here. Oh. I actually didn't play much Mischief Makers, but Anthony, Anthony did. I love that game. Yeah. Great accent, Raptor says. Nastasha. Okay, I'm just going to explode the room. We're, we're trying to... Hal Emmerich should be on basement level two. That's what we understand. Oh, 
item. Grenades. Okay, we have grenades. Um, Stairs right there. Elevator right there, I think. Another Easter egg. we're safe egg. if we go up here. If you keep calling Nastasha, there's some character exposition. Interesting. <sighs> Upstairs guy right there. Oh, my God. How are they not seeing you right now? You're just standing so perfectly still they can't see you. Oh, I can't step on the grate, too. Oh, because it, it'll alert them. Yeah. Which way is this guy turning around? Okay. Wow. Patrolling, patrolling. How did you get away with that? Video game. Dead. Nice. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh. oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Um, this is the only game on Earth where I still think the German voice actors were better than the original ones. Maybe not Snake, but most others. Oh. Also, they re, um, like dubbed, or instead they, of just subtitles. Yeah, for her, I wonder how many regions. I'm, I'm curious about hearing the other, um, the other dubs now. Is this guy gonna turn around? Oh, the Drax right. method, exactly, Jimmy. Moving, s moving so slowly, can't even perceive Snake. Oh nice. crap! Don't let him. We gotta go. Catch a breath. Yeah, he's gonna is, wake up. Is he gonna wake up and be alerted? Oh, fudge! Oh, uh -oh. dead. We gotta go. Uh, I'm what is that? Oxygen. Oh, oxygen. that! Oh, that's the that's dead. a nuclear or what is? Oh, they're wait, using was chemical oxygen? weapons. Oh, you're dead, dude. Oh no, Rash. Why was I messing around? What was I doing? What? Is the elevator no disabled way, too? There's no way to live here. No. Without you gotta. Dead. Okay. Yeah, you okay, can't get caught. Otherwise, it's there over. There it is. Um, I can't wait for the remake of this game Konami is supposed to be doing. Yeah, oh. it was kind of like rumored. Oh, we'll see, okay. We'll see. And official L Poppy. Hello, how are you doing today? Thank Thanks you. for popping in here. Yeah, use your CQC. I was just exploring CQC. for items. I didn't need to like. No, get it's that okay. Guy. No, it's fine. I, I would have definitely done the same. Do we have to do the calls all over again? I don't think so. Okay, so there's a guy right there. Is there a way for me to walk instead of run? Thank you, El Papi. We will ha we appreciate your good luck. No, I don't think there's a way for me to walk. Instead. Are your rations gone now? No. Okay. Dude, the camera's right there. How come that worked? What am I doing? <laughs> You're making me so nervous. I just want to eliminate all threats and then freely explore. I understand that. I understand that. <laughs> I'm but having fun. Just so you know, I'm here for you guys, not the gameplay. Jimmy, we appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you. That's the that's the motto of my streams. Don't this don't come here for the gameplay. <laughs> Dude, that's gonna, that guy's gonna come. Close Definitely. Though. Look at we how wide safe, that like, cone right is. Right? Oh! Oh my God! I knew it. I didn't think you could see upstairs like that. That's a reset. Just kill me. die okay what all right let's just get straight to the point i'm going to the elevator okay <laughs> buckwheat snake it's okay what was i even trying to do you're just you're just trying to Explore. kill everybody and everything and i respect that this may be foolish Oh my god. How does he not see you? <gasps> he didn't have a direct line on us. That's why. Oh, I okay. Because I was like leaning against the wall. Mm. But where's. Okay. Oh, you touched him, I think. Foolish. Can you just. What do I do? How do I <laughs> press the freaking <laughs> button? Close, close elevator, close elevator. Oh my god, dude. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
We're dead. Oh my god, dude. Okay, uh, okay, it's okay. okay. You're all right. It's okay. Yeah, how fast the room fills up with gas and how fast you die to it. Yeah, we don't have a uh, gas mask. I got mask. too close. That's okay. Because the last couple times I was like too far. So I'm, still, mm. I'm still calibrating. Yeah, Solid Snake also had their own frustrating moments with this game. I, yeah. you know, that's how it with is. With every game, yeah. But that's the fun of it. I got to learn the, the optimal distance. Yes. I, I mean, taking chances in a espionage game, that's... What Stealth. it's about. Stealth. And just a reminder, I was never good at these games, oh. but I did love them. I always had a plan for stealth. You plan for stealth, but you prepare to go guns. You prepare for, yeah, you prepare for guns. Yeah, do this I take game this guy is out super again? Quirk, quirky. There. I just got to memorize that distance. Yeah. Um, it is quirky. Okay. It has its quirks and the, the um, foxhound crew. I love how quirky all of them are. Should we check basement one or are we going straight to basement two as per the guide? Like B2. B2, okay. <sighs> okay. So, apparently, Hal Emmerich should be here. As far as we know. What is going on here? Some glass doors, some items, some blinking stuff. And there's a sign that says danger. Yeah, tactical espionage. Not James Bond. That's very rough for Okay. Some, like, airlock. Uh, what? Uh, and an electrified floor. Check it out. Oh. Oh, the power lines to the electrified floor go to that thing Bending that we machine. saw. Vending machine. Oh, getting a call. Okay. Snake, watch out. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. Just like that? Use a remote controlled missile. Okay. Our friend. I think we can call. Damn, we don't have her. I was going to call Nastasha. Uh, it doesn't save her number? Dang it. I guess not. One four. Someone said before. Five two. One four one five two. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, top-down camera for stealth gain this isn't is optimal. It works for this game, but uh, mm, yeah. I get what you're saying. You're the nuclear specialist that the oh, this is the first call again. Me. Oh. You can ask. Maybe that's why I didn't save. Um, ah, yes. Hal Emmerich Buckwheat. Yes, yes. This game is so good. Jealous that this is your first like playthrough. Said, we are facing increasing I danger from I'm having a blast. Uh -huh. I love I love meeting all these characters. Who's gonna tell us about the missiles? Colonel, I got a codec call from someone outside the uh -oh. operation. I know. We were monitoring the call. Oh god, I they're just all up in our business. System, so let me have her explain it to I know it's well, for our own good. Knows your frequency, they can call you. But the question is how did he learn it? It's top secret information. So you mean someone leaked the information? That's the only explanation I can think of. Mei Ling, do you know where that transmission originated from? I'm sorry. The radio waves were too weak to locate their source, but I'm sure he's near you, somewhere on the base. For the time being, let's trust what Deep Throat told us. Use a remote-controlled missile to destroy the switchboard in the northwest section of the Warhead Storage Building's second floor basement. Mm. Make sure your remote-controlled missile doesn't get shot down by those gun cameras. Okay, where the heck do I get? You probably know, right? Um, I believe I might timing, know. Let's okay, feel free. Okay, so do we have the Nikita launcher? No, that's what we're. I know that's what we need. Okay, then we need to go grab it from the armory. Okay, let's go all the way back then. Um, no problem. Dang. We probably could have gotten it while we were there, huh? Maybe. 
Um, yeah, thick brain. This is my first playthrough too. Yes, thick brained. How how are you doing with the story so far? Are we pretty clear on what's happening? I think I'm clear on what's happening. He's turning left immediately. Yeah. Please, I need to memorize this distance for like grabbing dudes. Thank you so much, Solid Snake. We will let you know if we need <laughs> um if we need your help. Thank you, Solid and, Snake. And yeah, thank you for being so considerate and ask and and mentioning that and not just saying it immediately. I gotta be careful about the grate. Um, such a cool name for a weapon. Yeah, is that Nikita launcher? Is that like a a known name for some for like a remote controlled missile? Good or? question. I'm not sure if that's like a real real life thing. Yeah. Could be. I hope Salt Snake knows about his own game, dude. Mm. Imagine he's like, I think I remember this. He opens up Game Facts on his phone. Like, <laughs> yeah. I gotta get the Nikita launcher. Says here. From the armory. CD case. Yeah. <laughs> Nikita is the name of a missile. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I, I, it's, it, what would you call this, like, kind of game where it, it draws on things in our reality, but it's clearly like a fantasy? Reality fantasy? <laughs> fantasy based on reality? Fa a fantasy based on reality. Oh, that's. That was the marketing for, for Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy 15, yeah. Mm. Um, no, there's like historical fantasy. I know historical or fantasy. I guess this, yeah. this, I mean, it does kind of tie in with historical events. This game. These yeah. Games? What? What year is it in this game? Like 2005, right? Oh, I don't know. So we gotta do this again, I think. Urban fantasy is one term for it, but that doesn't really fit Metal Gear Solid. Urban fantasy. Okay. Nickname, not official. Actor. Oh my god! Okay. Oh well, this is fun. There's legit. Does anyone know how I can walk in this game? Uh oh. We're just dead. Yeah, nothing you can do. Yeah. And you're smoking cigs on your way out. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Do we have to start back at the? I'm not sure. Does anyone know how I can walk in this game? Nick, uh, it's 1998, this game. Gotcha. No, I mean, but in the world of the game, is it right. the setting? Good question. Maybe it's on the back of the box. Yeah, GG. GG because I think Metal me. Gear 2 was the year 1999. I'm going to walk diagonally because that's helping. Doesn't, yeah, it doesn't say when in the game it Yeah, is. I thought it was Nikos, but I'm wrong. That's not till PS2. Can I look at the pamphlet? Or, well, Nikos, the um pressure sensitivity on the buttons, but I'm talking about the analog stick. I thought you'd, you'd figure moving it a little would make him walk, but I suppose I could crawl, but that's real slow. Uh, yeah, you can look in the instruction man. Oh, well, do you want to risk the spoilers? I'll look. Um, hey, Glass Emperor. Yeah, Snake goes to Game Facts. Solid Snake. This... Is it ASCII? That t those ASCII? Tech ASCII? Th yeah. This ASCII picture of me is pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. This looks like me. Yeah. Is that my ass? Do you know which room in oh, the armory? Um, let me see if I can. So I suppose I could just go to all of them. I gotta remember the traps here, too. Oh, because we have a level three card now. That's why. So it's something that's potentially level three. We couldn't access previously. It's grenade level one. Me, yeah, maybe. I I don't see it here immediately. So. That's fine. We'll find it then. Level two. Um. Oh, we didn't do this last time. Oh, nicotine! Thank you so much for the lurk. And yes, it's it was thank so nice you. of you to pop in and say hi. And we hope you have a great rest of the night as well, nicotine. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate having you here. 2005, I think, for Shadow Moses. That's Nico what I was says. thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this game was made before the analog sticks became commonplace on PlayStation. That is. Gotcha. What I am familiar with. So we got a new weapon, Thomas. It's a like solution a for anything now equals. Rifle. It could be on the back of the disc. Exactly, Crudy. I was like, I don't know. I'll look at the back. See, see what it says. So we got a new weapon, a rifle, automatic rifle. 
Wow, this um, this little pamphlet actually says how to handle the PlayStation disc. Oh yeah. Like, do not bend it. We got. Do the not leave it in direct sunlight. You know, things like that. That's pretty nice. Yeah, because that's still like new for kids. Getting mm -hmm. used to that stuff. We got it. Nice. Wasn't too far. Yeah, have a good night, nicotine. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate that you're playing the classics too. Yes, we love that. Yeah, Jimmy, so it's very binary in the sense that it's only on or off. There is For no the pressure to uh, tilt sensitivity. Interesting. Wow, interesting. the analog sticks were still binary. I mean, it's it's analog. That's the nature of the word analog rather than digital. It's that it's continuous. I, I honestly feel like there are some games, maybe not this one, where you can walk. Like, let me turn off the I don't analog. see anything about walk here. Yeah, if I turn on the, I'll turn off the analog and use a D-pad to move, there's it also no walk. normal run. Yeah, so, so it's, it's probably just this game. Yeah, I don't see anything about walking. Yeah. So you're right, Sailor Jimmy. It's probably some of the later released... Right, because the DualShock controller didn't come out till later. So this game probably didn't take advantage of it in that way. Uh-oh, I read a little spoiler. Oh, uh, in the manual? Well, I know it's, it's not a bit, I don't know if it's a big spoiler or but not. But in the manual? Yeah. It's just, probably a big spoiler. No, it's not that big. Okay, well, you, you want me to just tell you what I saw? You want me to tell you what I read? Just two words. Okay. Torture event. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know what that means. Okay. Torture event. That's what I said. Like, don't you just you check the controls and then you just started flipping through the pages. I wanted to see the pictures. <laughs> they look so cool, and then it was like torture event. I was like, oh! I don't know what's going on. It's fine. The yeah, manual lies, no such thing. Okay. okay. I mean, in all the, in, in the in the Bond films, there's always like some sort of torture thing. So it maybe, could mean anything. Exactly, maybe, Grudy. Yeah, maybe I... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the Nikita now. Alright. I feel like it would be a good idea to save. Yeah, so I guess the... um. The game overs. Bring you back to the room you're at, but anything you did in that room, it doesn't save. Sounds like it. <laughs> Which makes sense because it gives you your um your rations back, right? Snake, have you ever heard the saying, friendly counsel cuts off many foes? It means that a little bit of advice from friends can save you a lot of trouble. You should think about it. If you're in trouble or if you need some information about something, please contact Colonel Campbell or someone else, okay? Oh, so she winged. How cute. We can't see her, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the same routine, the same routine. Same timings and everything. No, no, no. Got to get used to this again because the camera shifts, but I still need to hold it in the same direction. Oh. I don't compensate like for the camera's movement. I'm not going to take the guy out this time. Nice. Elevator, please. Ooh. I love that they make you wait. Yeah. You don't always. Okay. <laughs> Solid take the ladies want snake. Oh, that much is has been clear since yeah. like the first call i think we're on this floor again i feel like i want to save again you know what i mean uh jimmy says oh my bad the nickname no, no, no. for the missile it was based on was the ogla not nikita nikita was made up for this game oh ogla okay, or okay. olga oh i don't know maybe olga? olga i wonder nikita sounds better i wonder where nikita comes from yeah let's just save again to be safe Nikita sounds better. Yeah. You call it snake. <laughs> yeah. Now, now I'm like, I'm like learning all this new lingo from this game. But now I'm like, <laughs> wait. wait, is it Metal Gear lingo or is this also? Can I? In my parents' homeland, they say, if there are more wolves, the people are eaten. 
If there are more people, the wolves are eaten. That means the side with the greater numbers is usually the winner. You're badly outnumbered, Snake. Try not to let them see you. Dude. I like these quotes. Just constantly reinforcing the uh, stealth. Yeah. Nikita. Okay. Press square to fire. Use directional buttons to control oh, after firing. Oh, you have to guide the missile? Yeah. And you can't get caught by the camera, as it said. Uh, the, the cameras don't really detect you. No, the, the, the missile. You don't... But they, uh, they'll shoot them down. Oh. Wait, I... Whoa, whoa. What? I'm trying to remember the path. Whoa. Damn it. Damn. Okay. At least that guy one got taken out. So if I leave it going straight, it just it dashes. Ah. But as soon as I turn it slows down. Oh my god. Damn it. Oh my god. It's okay, I have the uh, the rations out. Snake still in hazardous terrain. Nicely done. Oh, gosh. That cost me two rations right there? It yeah. Okay. Um, Dude. Oh, thanks for hanging out, Nikos. And thank you. And totally understand. Hope you have a great night. Yeah, we're on the West Coast. Thanks so, for hanging out. You know, we have a, we have, we're a little bit earlier. or We don't have to go to bed quite yet. But uh, thank you for hanging out. We'll catch you around. Okay. Still gassy in here. Do I want these items? It's probably not safe with those cameras, right? A ration, though, right? Oh, there you go. Ration, okay. No, can't. Ooh, camera. Dude. Gas mask. Oh, dude. gas mask? There it is. Nice. Oh, so it still goes down, but is it it's much slower? Yeah, nice. I think so. Ooh, can I tell you about a mechanic that's not listed in the item description, Crudy asks? Sure. Yeah, Crudy, that sounds great. And pain in the ass is here. Pain, how are you doing? We are I'm trying to check these doors. We just made our way through like a nuclear C four, C four, okay. Like nuclear bomb holding area. More Nikita missiles, good, good, good. I should have gotten fresh air. Should we go back and do that? Because you're going to burn through your rations right now. Is the gas mask just slowing it down? I think it just slows it. Oh, crap. All right, well, I think we got everything that I can even get. I can't even get this door right. Four, yeah. Let me get some fresh air out here. Oh god, this is stressing me out. Jeez. Oh ah, god. if you fire the Nikita launcher, you can press triangle to get a first person oh. view. I vaguely remember huh. that, but I wasn't sure if it was the GameCube version or, or this game. That's fun. Okay. <clears throat> Whoa, what is this door? 
Hal's lab. Okay. Sweet. What was that writing on the door? Did you say Hal's lab? Yeah. That's oh, what we said. made it. Oh. You better get in there. Huh? Hal's dead. Level three. Hal's dead. There's no way to disable the Metal Level Gear three. now. Level three. Oh! That shot. Rated M. Looks like they were cut by some type of blade. Oh, is that that must be our ninja friend? This is. Oh my god! This is scary. I love it. I'm trying to decipher the words. You're taken? There he is. Okay, so n is this guy's still alive. Was that the torture event? I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> no. No, no, no. This is, is it torture if they just if oh, you just straight kill them? But it's busted. Oh. <sighs> I love the ninja so much. Seems pretty cool. I have an idea of who that is. I don't know everything about them though. No spoilers. Tactical you're espionage on. horror survival shooter. Exactly. <laughs> Slash dating sim. Uh, what the hell, fried chicken? Thanks for popping in. Oh, oh no! Is that Hal? Did you see? He peed. Yeah. Stealth camouflage. Who are you? Where is my friend? Ooh. What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Maybe I don't what? know who this is. Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such Cyber words ninja? are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? I should have saved. It's like one of my Japanese enemies. <laughs> I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It's I mean, he's got a point. This is pretty anime. <laughs> it is. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respect. I will kill you. I'm remembering some Easter eggs about this. Oh. But I'll only resort to it if I struggle a lot. No okay. Good call. Hiding in the locker. There. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Oh. Now make me feel it. Make me feel Whoa. Alive again. Make me feel alive again. <gasps> oh my god, he's got moves! Time. Dude, this guy's freaky. Now we can fight this He's awesome. Hand to hand. It is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. I think if you try to use a gun, he just like Knocks perfect it out. dodges it. Oh, interesting. Um, he and Sephiroth were my big heroes as a kid, Crudy. That's awesome. He and Se oh, interesting, interesting choice of heroes as a child, I must say. <laughs> Murder event, thick brain, exactly. That of uh, that uh, last him. hallway. Shoot him anyway. Let's. 
Oh, that's awesome. That was for you, Audrey. I love that. Thank you. Uh, more Easter eggs. Yeah. This Salt. is uh, Kojima Games, Police Knots. Oh, wow. That That's fun. Um, yeah, we need to fight Ninja with Ninja. Where is Kakashi Hatake? Is this one too? Is this, uh, what console is this? Is that a PlayStation? Oh, on the on the table there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Snake, show us your ninja way. Archong, thanks for hanging out. Hope you have a great night. May the chocobo guide you, says Archong. Well. Anthony will have no problem since he has the chocobo on his side. Yep. Uh, I want to make more jokes, but they may tread into spoiler territory. Yeah, Jimmy, thank careful. you for thank you for resisting. Appreciate your restraint. Once 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 we hit those uh, <laughs> moments, though, then you can unleash all your jokes. Um, was Gray Fox in Metal Gear Two? It was in Metal Gear One and Two. Uh, okay, Gray Fox was the original. Was that like the original like ultimate? It's like soldier? who they sent in first. Yeah, 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 yeah. In those stories? Oh, okay. Third phase. Hurry up and catch me. Oh, he's gonna go all stealth now. Oh no, he's he's running. Oh no, no, no. Hide and seek. This is fun. Oh. It takes too long. He'll just show up. Oh. Yeah. Hurry up and catch me. I'm nice. trying to go off sound, too. Can oh. you hear it? Oh. Uh. Like old times. Like old times. Who is this? I've been waiting for this pain. Who does he, who does he think we are? Whoa! Step on me, snake! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, I love that paper. Yeah. PlayStation 1, dude. I remember that punch! At first, I thought he was maybe... Confused, but now maybe I'm wondering if Snake is confused. Flashing a bone and sinew. <gasps> oh, what was that? Oh, dude, that's so rude. Just an AOE at the end. Oh. Did it hurt you? Ouch. Yeah, it just, yes, what it is did. going on? What am I supposed to do? Do I shoot him now? I'm trying to understand what the voice is saying. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know what the voice is saying. Something like murder. It sounded like murder almost. Snake. Do you remember me now? Can't be. Oh, oh, we do know. You were killed in Zanzibar. What? <sighs> Thank you, Crudy. What? Not again. Another heart attack? The medicine. What's happening? <gasps> this is scary. There's a blur filter they really use effectively. The trailing blur. Yeah, be careful about spoilers and leading questions for Audrey's first playthrough here. I feel like I walk away from these boss battles feeling sad. <laughs> it's a good feeling. It is a great feeling. Maybe I don't know who this character Gray is. Fox. Oh, oh Grey Fox? That ninja is Grey Fox. That's Grey Fox? Ridiculous. 
You of all people should know he died. Okay, I, I thought it was someone else. He should have I was totally wrong about who that was. Here we go. What? He didn't. It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy. Oh experiments. my god! I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years yeah, ago. Yeah, right. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. <gasps> And that was Gray Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with the prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four oh years. Oh my god. On him like a play thing. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Who's Naomi, regulating these? Why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Government agencies. Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? What? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? Well, well now she's spilling. Explosion. I see. The records say he died. The is Gray Fox. The question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. <gasps> Naomi! Dude. Naomi so loves dead. Gray Fox! There. Or something. Huh? Are you one of them? I don't know. No, maybe I'm not. reading into it too much. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? <laughs> Come on, get out. He actually said otaku? You stay here forever. Are you a weeb too? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, that's what he's saying, yeah. Are you a weeaboo? Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, Thank you for tuning in, Rusk. It's nothing to appreciate, worry about. appreciate you being here. Hey, Rusk. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles, only for defensive purposes, of course. Wow, hell's a voice acting is feels very natural. Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear equipped Rusk, walking death. Thanks so for much the for the follow. Don't miss the story, Audrey. Okay. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't Thank know? Thank you, Rusk. They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. Here we go. Directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department. Of course. And the president personally supervised the final assembly. The president? Of the President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a rail gun. So he thought it was just for defensive purposes. Oh boy. A gun, you said. Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? 
Yeah, Rusk, it's never for defensive purposes. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. But that's not all, I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? <gasps> the Metal Gear is Metal holding Gear's co developer, Metal Gear? Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear. Oh! Weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch mm -hmm. data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launch that thing... <laughs> Damn. Hmm. Damn. I'm such a fool. Aww. It's all my fault. Yeah, his voice acting is really good. Is, yeah. My grandfather was part oh. of the project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. Dude. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. Dude. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind. It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Yeah, Zinthio, we are in the same room. Yes. Rex is in the underground maintenance. He, he didn't. I don't I think. Didn't reach? Uh, okay, I don't right. think. Yeah, you reached. <laughs> you're, you didn't. It's a long way there. But we are. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too. Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. Oh. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. We should just destroy Rex. <laughs> right? No, we don't have to worry about anyone ever... I'll show you the way. ...using Rex. On that leg of yours? Yeah. Well... just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I think Rex. I know who this is now. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. Didn't click with it's me my until life. my duty to destroy him. My duty to destroy him, dude. What a character. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. <laughs> what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course oh. I do. And don't worry, I've got this. Let's check it, check it. Whoa! It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was going to use them, but with this, I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you, too. <sighs> Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Uh oh! Over there. Oh no! Damn, they've spotted me! <laughs> Meryl, what happened? I love the freaking Something's They wrong. changed the portraits. Yeah, the, yeah. So the cool. direction of where she was looking and everything. That was what did she awesome. look like? She she was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. <laughs> she kind of wiggles her behind. Oh my you god. Looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. <laughs> way of walking, huh? <gasps> oh my god. These, these games are special. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? 
Are we gonna have to look for someone with a cute place where we can be sure she's way of walking? Where's that? Don't be so dense. Yeah, take a shot, Sailor Jimmy. <laughs> a place where she'll be by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. It's security level four. What? That's the interaction that happened. The woman's restroom, maybe? You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm oh, glad you're what? Okay. He's worried we're gonna he, uh, that uh, Hal's gonna have the heart attack or yeah. something. Everyone else yeah. Yeah. Suddenly dies. Your bad luck. Forget it, doctor. Call me. Otaku. Oh, oh otaku. yes, I. It stands for Otaku Convention. I knew it. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. I didn't. It didn't click with me until he started talking about anime. I think legit, anime. if this game was made today, he'd be called Weeaboo. Robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots. Yes, the ones in the you Japanese wanted a Gundam. Animals. Yeah. It's true. It just sounds like a child. Death Scythe. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hip hop soul, what's up? Hey, hip hop, right. Metal Gear Awesomeness. Uh, awesome does a great parody I've of this. Heard of that. I have not. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. Oh, what? Pretty sweet. On yeah. 141.12. See you later. We'll just call him immediately just so we have it in the, uh, the phone book. Dude, we our first impression of him was like he's this fearful, like peed in his pants, but he's like ready to get Feels down. Determined yeah. To right his wrongs. Yes. Yeah, Russ, these games never fail to over sexualize everything. Yeah, it's Seriously. I, I said it in, in our last stream, this game already feels very sexually charged. But you know, th those kind of spy films have that Yeah. Um Everyone's I don't know, just trying to out kind of each vibe. Other. <laughs> yeah. Let's um, check in with everyone though. I don't remember, but I think it would be hilarious if you had to go into first person and had to look at people's butts as they walk. Oh my god! Like, hmm. Maybe. Is that the one? Looks like you've rescued Emmerich for the time being. Yeah, with that stealth camouflage, he should be able to hide safely. The clutch Great stealth box. camouflage. I can't believe it. But the real problem is your niece. The way the codec got cut off like that has me worried. Something must have happened to her. You're worried about Mara? Not exactly. It's just that she's holding the detonation code over IPs. They're our last chance of stopping that nuclear launch. You're a cold man. Your mission is more important than the life of your companions? This is war. Survival is the name of the game. Sometimes you have to be cold to survive. Yes, Please. Snake, either way, I want you to find Meryl as soon as possible. I understand. So that's our mission now, find Meryl. People who have been through war oh, and survived. Nope. Do you remember oh, Autocons? One, two, I think. One for one, one, two, I think. Autocon said that now it's possible to design and test new types of nuclear weapons in a virtual simulation without ever exploding a nuclear device. Is that true? Yes, it is true. Since the establishment of DART and NIF early in the 21st century, there has been a wealth of data concerning nuclear fission mm. and fusion. There is also much data accumulated from the nuclear tests conducted over the last four decades. With the processing speed of today's supercomputers, they can design a new nuclear weapon through virtual reality computer simulations. Oops. Uh, I think it's one. Oh, dang it. Yeah. No one could see him, but smell him, Crudy. Right. Right. Oh my god, what if they're like, oh, it's, something smells like pee. Could be. Could be. You still haven't found Meryl? Snake, the Warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there, too? Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> what if, just knocking stuff around. <laughs> what if they gave Otacon like random Japanese to say? I think that would really seal in that uh, we feel. Einstein said it another way. He said that only a life lived for others is worth living. That's why I entered MIT instead of Princeton or Vassar like my friends. I wanted to do applied physics, not just a theoretical stuff. I wanted to make things for people. The Soliton radar system or the Kodak system. I just wanted to make something that would be useful for people. I think that it was the same for Dr. Emmerich too. But he was used like a tool. He used to make a horrible killing machine. Maybe it would be better if mm. engineers like us just stop making things. I don't know. Whoa, heavy. I'm glad we did that. Yeah, definitely. These conversations, like, there's got to be so many missable ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sailor Jimmy, that is so Sugoi Snake. <laughs> I wonder if you just ended every transmission, like, Kiyotsukete. Oh. oh, she's Snake's lost out. in thought. There. Oh. Nothing to say. Wow. Wow. And thank you for tuning in, Rusk. I think we're going to end it yeah. here, too. Oh, yeah, Russ, thanks for being here. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid definitely seems to be the game that would give Otacon Japanese lines. Certainly, That's what yeah. Say. It would make sense. Yeah. But thank you guys for tuning in. We're yeah. making a little bit of progress here and there. Mm. Metal Gear Solid, how are you feeling so far? The characters are really fleshed out. In they, this game. yeah. The performance is great, too. There's a lot of characters um, on both sides here, yes. and they're all unique and they all have their unique. own uh quirks uh -huh. and eccentricities like we talked about before mm -hmm. and um yeah i want to see i want to see more i i can't i'm excited to see the rest of um the foxhound um crew yep and yeah i want to see I, I i incorrectly assumed who that ninja was yeah um, so I, I think me and a couple of people in chat were had an idea of who you thought that character was. Right. But um, just a big, huge thank you to everyone in chat for your yeah, restraint. Thank you. Which we're doing our best to absorb and enjoy and discuss the story, especially Audrey's predictions and reactions for this very first playthrough. Yeah. And we genuinely appreciate you guys respecting our... Um, our policies here yeah yeah and you know there's like times where i'm like speculating out loud or i'm like oh i wonder if this or i think this but then you know people are just like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i wonder that's perfect yeah maybe, i don't want to i don't want Audrey, you to i don't maybe. want you to confirm or crudy is the ninja or, yeah crudy is definitely <laughs> the ninja yeah crudy is also sephiroth it turns out so yeah. um yeah um uh, thank you all so much for being here yeah. um this is uh, our last scheduled stream for the year, but we may, um, I mean, it's already at the end of December, yeah. but we may have uh, unscheduled things uh, mm -hmm. within the week. So if you're um, interested in keeping up to date with us, we will be uh, keeping our schedule tab as up to date as possible on mm -hmm. Twitch and our, our schedule panel. But the best way would be Discord for sure. We're, we're, um, I just linked it in chat for you all if you want to join our Discord. Great, yeah. So if you want to join our Discord, that's the best way to keep up to date with our schedule. We try to do an announcement post um, at least once a week. So, yeah. um, but you know, maybe here and there we might just you know suddenly have the like, uh, oh i'm live yeah suddenly go live so discord yeah. would be the place and also we're we're um we're on there chatting about video games and hobbies and um if you have anything to add to today's stream yes. we do have the debriefing room which I is a text channel. channel yeah on our discord where you can um say hey you know this this little uh piece of trivia about this thing that you saw mm -hmm. but of course uh use a spoiler tag um just in case anyone there doesn't want to see um, anything about today. Yeah, Discord has a wonderful spoiler tag feature. If you don't know how to use it, you can just ask us on the Discord or you can just Google it. Mm. Um, it's pretty simple. It allows you to hide messages or images that you post mm -hmm. and uh, people have to click on them to see them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and that's the best way to discuss things that might be spoilery. That's right. Yeah, King Baboon, I haven't played this game. I got nothing to spoil. That's great. Just Perfect. sit along, along for the yeah. ride. Cynthia, I've never played, so all I know is the last minute five minutes of watching yeah. love that it's a I, wild ride it's Cynthia. great i love having other people experience this along with me because it's yeah. like we can all like speculate what's gonna together. happen next yeah speculate together yeah. so yeah this is this is uh, a fun time um and crudy yes merry christmas to you as well and happy holidays uh to everyone um yeah yeah is there, is there anything else um uh thank you audrey for this wonderful year of streaming we've yeah carved out something Thank special you. on our channel yeah. with um, our solo streams and our duo streams. Mm -hmm. We appreciate all the viewers, whether you're here for the Anthony solo streams, the Audrey solo streams, or our duo streams, or everything. Mm. You're here for Reini Rumble, you're here for this or that thing. Mm. 
we appreciate that you guys are here hanging out and choosing to spend your free time with us. Um, and they a big a thank you to um, those ex- who are lurking. Audrey mm-hmm. and I are ourselves mostly lurkers when we watch other channels. Oh, yeah. And, uh, big lurker. Even if you're not participating in chat, we just wanted to acknowledge that you guys are really cool too and appreciate you choosing to spend your time with us. I'm um, looking forward to playing more cool games next year. Yeah. Yeah, big happy holidays. Happy New Year to everybody. Um, stay safe. Mm-hmm. Um, play healthy. a lot of video games. Stay healthy. Play a lot of video games. Play a lot of video games. That's play a good. lot of video games. Um, Do it. But yeah, like Audrey said, we'll be back probably sometime within the first full week of January. Mm. We'll announce it, of course, on our Discord. Mm. Um, we're on social. The links are there. I posted in chat or down below. We're on Instagram and Twitter. Discord's cool. We also have our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Rainy. Mm. That's where we have um, higher quality recordings of our VODs. That goes on YouTube, so we recommend that first if we if you want to rewatch anything. Um, yeah, this year has been incredible. For your reference, I checked it at the beginning of the year. Our first stream in 2021, we had 190 followers. Oh! And then as of now, we are nearing a thousand followers. Wow! Incredible. We have not really been like pushing or promoting our channel in any way Mm. really we've just been going live and playing games that we're interested in yeah and we're happy with what we have yeah it's been a really fulfilling experience and everyone who has like come through on chat has been so wonderful and respectful and excited yeah and yeah we i don't know if we just got really lucky with the the people that we attract really, to our streams i really but think so everyone's just been very very lovely so yeah, yeah i feel so thank you guys we, for, for making so our year um and thick brain to triple hydrate for the road thank we appreciate you. that thick brain for the road yams thank you so much and zinthio thank you thank you happy holidays to you hip-hop soul as well and everyone and have a meryl xmas love that rap meryl for xmas it. yes meryl X, xmas indeed everyone do everyone has a do a little cute walk for your <laughs> mineral Xmas. Yeah, so yeah, happy holidays, happy new year. Um, we'll be on Discord if you want to chat, and we'll let you guys know on Discord if we want to go live and play something during this winter break of ours. But otherwise, we'll see you on Discord or see you in the first week of January. Sounds good. I think that's it. I think it. we'll find someone to raid, but yep. that's it from us. Once again, my name is Audrey. And I'm Anthony. Together, we are Rianne. Happy holidays, happy new year. See mm-hmm. you guys soon. Stay safe.